This is the Pal Talk News Network. The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of PalTalk.com, AVM Software, or its advertisers. Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of PalTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBombgarten.com, where you're encouraged to post your comments, where you, uh, whether you agree with yours truly or not, no retribution. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. I welcome you to the show. I encourage you to uh, check uh, early and often, just like voting in Chicago, at the uh, Paltalk News Network site, uh, paltalknewsnetwork.com, to see, hear, and read stories that you may or may not see, hear, or read. <laughs> in the mainstream media, we have breaking news. ABC News is reporting that Bill Clinton... The former president of the United States has been rushed to a hospital here in New York City. Uh, Joining us to tell us what little we know about this late developing story is correspondent Alan J.C. Allen. Yeah, hi, Gary, and hello, everyone. Uh, Yes, Bill Clinton, former president, uh, was rushed to uh, Columbia Presbyterian Hospital in New York City. Uh, Apparently, uh, there is something to do with his heart. Um, George Stephanopoulos is reporting on ABC that most likely that is the case, that it is a heart, and they will probably uh, put in a stent procedure. I would think that uh, most likely uh, that because the president did have a quadruple bypass uh, back, uh, I believe, in in, uh, 2004, um, he probably has some blockage that needs to be opened up, and the stent uh, would certainly do that. Um, there is also reports in Washington that uh, Hillary Clinton uh, was seen leaving the, the President Obama's office uh, a little while ago and uh, was not in any major rush to get up here, but I'd imagine she is in transit up to New York not right now and uh, to be by her husband's side. Um, but that, that's all the news we have so far. I would imagine that their uh, hospital spokesman will... Uh, be releasing information once uh, they really have the uh, um, fur- further uh, information on the, the former president's condition. And that was the hospital where he did undergo his quadruple uh, bypass uh, surgery, Columbia Presbyterian. So um, uh, apparently, even if we had not heard from George Stephanopoulos, who was at one time an aide to Bill Clinton before coming over to this side of the street and to work for ABC, uh, that uh, that would be something that one would immediately uh, speculate would be the cause for him being taken to the hospital. Uh, Alan, uh, we appreciate if you keep on top of that, and if there's any uh, late-breaking developments before uh, the show ends, I'm sure you will be back with those for us. Other big news, totally okay. under. Thank you, Alan. Other big news, totally underreported by the mainstream media, is what's going on right now in. Iran, specifically on the streets of Tehran, on this, the 31st anniversary of the Islamic Revolution and the uh, Islamists taking over uh, the country of Iran, the uh, anti-government protesters uh, took to the streets today in large numbers. There were also large numbers of people on the streets in support of the regime, and there are numerous reports of clashes between the protesters and the security forces. There is a virtual lockdown on information coming out of Iran today. And that may be the reason why uh, the mainstream media isn't taking uh, the effort to report this story like it ought to, because especially with television, if they don't have the pictures, it isn't a story. And sometimes when it isn't a story, if they have the video, it becomes a story. But they pretty much locked down uh, the means of communication out of Iran, and one of the latest steps that they have taken is that they have shut off Gmail. So you can't use Gmail in and out of Iran any longer. This, of course, an attempt 
uh, by the regime there to control the message. I saw an analyst on the BBC, uh, they have a Persian service that does a great job of uh, covering as best as it can, given that all of its correspondents have been ordered out of the country. Uh, they've been doing a great job of covering what's going on in Iran. This analyst suggested uh, that this is like a last push for the anti-government folks, this tactic of taking important dates on the Iranian calendar, anniversaries of events, and using them as reasons to go to the street and um, or opportunities to go to the street and um, demonstrate against the government. If this doesn't pick up the momentum, they will have to find a new tactic, he said, but he didn't suggest what that tactic might be because his understanding of the situation is that uh, they don't really have another tactic that they have uh, waiting in the wings. Uh, the president of Iran, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, today declared Iran a nuclear state. Uh, more saber rattling on this 31st anniversary of the uh, formation of the Iranian state of uh, the Muslim state of Iran by force. Uh, we have a number of uh, very interesting commentaries that are on the Health Talk News Network site about the fight for human rights in Iran. And uh, we still have the story that we posted yesterday because of its import. We're leaving it up there a little bit longer uh, about the United States slapping sanctions on the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. We're trying to do our best with our sources inside the country and our analysts outside the country to keep this story alive here on the Pal Talk News Network. If you got up this morning early enough at about uh, 10.25, it was 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. We have liftoff for an Atlas, um, sat, uh, an Atlas rocket that was... Uh, uh, launched from Cape Canaveral. It's NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO they call it. Um, it is a first-of-a-kind mission to reveal the sun's inner workings in unprecedented detail. At 1023 uh, this morning, New York Time, we carried that live right here on the Pal Talk News Network. Uh, they will be uh, exploring the sun in great detail to determine how it affects a lot of things, including perhaps uh, the, the climate change that may be causing for these extremes in weather patterns that we are looking at right now. Another story that you may not see in the mainstream media, we brought to you because we find it to be so very important. Uh, the United States Geological Service has uh, just completed a series of studies of uh, aquifer systems across this nation and uh, reporting how vulnerable they are to contamination. We've done 